nice. Cakes, oh nice. <laughs> Salam everybody, assalamu alaikum, hello, good afternoon on this Friday afternoon, it's Juma, it's Juma. Gala makes a on Juma. So yeah, it's 12.15 now. So this morning has been really lovely. So we went to Primark, went into town to Primark, specifically to go to the new Friends Cafe, the Central Perk Cafe that's opened within Primark. It opened on Wednesday and I was saying to her, okay, that's it when you've got some time. I'm dragging you there, love. He was like, all right then, if you must. He didn't say that, but... I'm sure he wanted to. <laughs> but yeah, we went this morning and it was just starting to get busy. Um, but And you actually have to queue up and then they like let you in. So yeah, I'm really glad we went quite early and I really enjoyed it. But yeah, they made it really nice, very Friends themed. Um, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. So if you're into Friends, definitely do go check it out. I will go again, inshallah. Not anytime too soon because I think it'll always be quite busy, but once kind of the hype dies down, I'll probably go there. But the hot chocolate, we had a hot chocolate. That was really tasty. So um, they've got like loads of merchandise as well, just outside. And I've bought friends stuff from Primark in the past, but because we went especially for the cafe, I just felt like picking something up. So I just picked up these candles. Yeah, I got this one, which looks cute. It says, how you doing? Which we all know is Joey's famous chow line friends on top it's just a scented candle doesn't smell that strong but it's cute and this was uh, two pounds and then i picked up this one as well which is just a central perk one it's got the taxis and stuff on it and it's a vanilla latte scented candle this one smells a bit stronger and it does smell a little bit like vanilla latte that and that one was uh, two pound fifty so yeah they're cute i might use them i might not i might just keep them as a souvenir um but yeah that was a lovely lovely morning and then i popped into poundland um just to see what they've got in the poundland in town because i usually go to the one near us and i haven't been to the town one in ages so yeah i picked up a few things from there but i've been collecting a few things anyway um because i'm doing a haul so i thought i'll just incorporate the poundland haul that i do into this vlog because that's what i feel like doing so i've got some lovely stuff in front of me and we're going to get stuck in and um, I'm getting hungry now so I want to make some lunch. Akir's getting ready for Juma, so yeah he wants some lunch as well. Ayub's sleeping, he's having a good old nap. So let's do this, then we'll get on with life inshallah. So I guess we'll start off here. I saw this storage box and I thought, ooh wee, what's that, it's a bit fancy. Um, yes, yeah, so it's got these uh, sparkles on the front, the ones that you can play with, like that. Um, yeah, and it's uh, only on one side. Let's open it up actually, why don't we? Um, yeah, so it's got the sparkly bit on one side and the rest of it is just plain black. I, did, I don't know if they had any other colours, I don't think I saw any other colours. It's fun just to play with, but obviously it's a nice size storage box. I picked up this Trolls bath fizzer. I got this a few weeks ago. It says hidden colour inside. It looks like lots of fun. I got that for my daughter. I thought she'll enjoy that. But I'm going to open it because I'm a nosy pants and see what colour it is inside. It's basically a pink bath fizzer, so she like that. I'll pop that in my storage box, shall I? It's Father's Day on Sunday. We don't celebrate Father's Day, Mother's Day. Every day is Father's Day. Every day is Mother's Day in this house. Yeah, Mother's Day doing chores. That's what it is. Uh, but I like to get gifts that are themed for them days just because they're fun. And um, yeah, so I picked these up for Akia. I thought this mug was really cute. They had a variety of slogans. So it just says one cool pop and um, obviously pop is father if you're American. <laughs> and um, it's like a lollipop, isn't it? Like a nice pop. So that's cute and then I thought he could take this to work but I don't like that 
the essential part of it is covered so number one dad uh, i think that's cute i like the color as well but like the bit that you hold it on to kind of um, protect yourself from the heat um it covers the dad bit and then i picked up this cupcake box and this cake box um they had a navy color as well so a navy striped one navy and white striped one and this is like a, a pink and white and that's what it looked like when it's all folded up but for the palm that's like a really really good bargain isn't it a good sturdy cake box one cake i really want to make in the next i was gonna say next few days but that's not gonna happen next few weeks is a red velvet cake that's what's on my mind and i got the cupcake box in the same print and that's what that looked like when it's folded up also a pound not bad very nice i like next up i've got these lovely tumblers and they're so nice they're like an ombre effect this one's really really nice this color like turquoisey one this purple one's nice as well so i got four of these so two packs of this one this color and then one pack of the purple i would have got like three packs to make six of this one but they didn't have any more so i was forced to get the purple one which is also nice but i just prefer the other color um and we break glasses really easily in this house so that was my excuse to buy them but they just look really nice as well they also had wine glasses with the same effect the ombre color and effect but um not much of a wine drinker not gonna lie <laughs> and then the rest is books actually i've got a nice little pile of books here which i should be banned from buying even though they're not all mine but like i've got so many to read like they're so fun looking one book that i saw that i was so impressed with that is there uh, a thousand splendid sons by khalid hussein it's not khalid hussein is it um, i've read it it's such a good book like a true tearjerker heart wrencher um all his books are like wow well i've read three of them so um, all three of them were so i wanted to buy it just to keep in the house because it's such a good book to have for like a pound but i thought it's okay someone else can benefit and enjoy that wonderful wonderful book so yeah they have some really really good offers on books in poundland it says recover on the front which means that it's like used but they barely look used so definitely check out your pound and see what kind of books you've got so i'll show you ayub's waking up now so ayub's here hopefully he's gone back to sleep i'll try not to speak too loud so these are the two books i got for myself we'll have a read of them uh in a minute but first i'll show you what i got for the kids these are really fun so um for ayub i thought this was really cute so my first rhymes twinkle twinkle little star and it's like a carry on one which is gonna hold like that and uh, yes basically a nursery rhymes book it's a twinkle twinkle little star nursery rhyme book that is very very cute and hopefully we read that to him and then i saw this despicable me one complete guide to gadgets and vehicles that the kids would enjoy that and it's got stickers as well loads of stickers in there rrp699 my friends you know gosh what can i say so if you're a fan of Despicable Me, you like that. We certainly are, Gru. Because I look like Gru. I remember mentioning it in my... Um, <laughs> I remember in one of my vlogs, my Eid vlogs. I did like a side profile and my shadow looked like Gru's nose. So yeah, he's my mate really. RRP on this one, 3 .99. And then I saw these, I thought they would look really fun. For the older kids. So, 6 dollars RRP on these, I got them a pound each. So it says totally twisted puzzles definitely not for aardvarks that's that one i love how uh, bright and neon they are definitely not for chickens <laughs> uthman is obsessed with chickens you're a chicken head mum you're a chicken you like chickens i like chickens he's eight years old he repeats everything chicken 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 you can turn into a chicken i'm a chicken you're a chicken 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 i'm like okay <laughs> life's all about chickens in this house i have no idea why and this one definitely not for sloths so um yeah i kind of had a quick glance through them it's got that neon theme throughout and it's got like puzzles and like challenges i think draw yourself wearing this t-shirt so i guess you draw your own head on that how many differences between these two pictures um look at these items for 60 seconds now close your eyes and draw them on the opposite page 
yes kind of quick fun puzzles these are really really good if you're traveling like i thought of that exact point that they're really really good for when kids are traveling not that i've planned anything not that we've booked anywhere to go but if you're traveling anywhere these are going to come out so i'm going to put them away for now actually because i'm sure over the summer holidays i'm sure we'll end up going somewhere whether in the uk inshallah or abroad who knows Allah, Allah we've not really booked anything yet but these will inshallah come in handy so that's the kids books now let's have a little read of these this one i bought a few weeks ago this one i bought today and it just looks very exciting so let's read this one i read books by this author jill mansell and it's one of those like you know um cottagey she likes a lot of cottagey books so <laughs> i don't know what i mean by cottagey but like like a cottage by the sea i'm sure she's written something like that before and it's just like really calm um nice stories light-hearted ones when your mind just wants to relax so this book's called an offer you can't refuse and it says what's the girl to do with an offer you can't refuse i like the cover it's black different um, and this is one of the recover ones like i was saying so pre-owned quality guaranteed so i know you want me to read the synopsis to you the rrp on this one is covered but it's not i can see it's still 6.99 my loves <laughs> So it says, 10 years ago, Lola Malone was offered £10,000. And what 17-year-old wouldn't be happy with that? But there was a catch. Gosh, there always is. Can't people just give you money just like that? Why do they have to put a condition on it? I just don't know. <laughs> like, work for your money? Like, why should I just give it me? <laughs> um, the person doing the offering was her boyfriend, Dougie's mother. And it was on condition that Lola broke up with her beloved son. Lola was outraged. I would be too, love. Nothing, nothing could tear her and Dougie apart. Until she discovered a terrible secret and suddenly she had no choice but to take the money and run. Now a twist of fate has brought Lola and Dougie together again and her feelings for him are as strong as ever. But she broke Dougie's heart and he's about to discover that she was paid to do it. She can never tell him the truth. So can she get him back? Well, Lola likes to think she's irresistible, but even she's got her work cut out this time. She's a bit big-headed, isn't it? Lola likes to think she's irresistible. Blooming it, what does she think she is like? She, she likes to think she's all right. She likes to think she's irresistible. Gosh, she was raised confidently. <laughs> and then this one, um, the cover appeal to me. It's always the covers in it, they know how to get you. And it's called Hidden and it's by Emma Kavana, or however you say it he's hiding in plain sight closer than you think and this is a hardback book which means the rrp will be a little bit higher on this one let's see if we can find it 12.99 my friends 12.99 got it for a quid and it's not even a recover one he's watching a gunman is stalking the wards of a local hospital he's unidentified and dangerous and has to be located urgently Police firearms officer Aidan McCarthy is tasked with tracking him down. Still troubled by the shooting of a schoolboy, Aidan is determined to make amends by finding the gunman before it's too late. She's waiting. To psychologist Imogen, hospital should be a place of healing and safety, both for her and for her young niece who's recently been admitted. She's heard about the gunman, but he has little to do with her. Or has he? <laughs> As time ticks down, no one knows who the gunman's next target will be. But he's there, hiding in plain sight, far closer than anyone thinks. Well, I never. He probably is a doctor at the ward, at the hospital, what do you reckon? A doctor or one of the nurses, or the head of the hospital. Hmm. I really can't wait to find out. <laughs> I've got so many things I need to find out with my previous books <laughs> that I don't even know what I need to find out anymore. But anyway, um, that's my Poundland haul. I've also got a sneaky sweet treat here. I wasn't going to show you, but go on, I will do. Yeah, this eight pack of mini rolls. It's Friday, it's takeaway day, no cooking for me. We need a little something sweet for this evening. This will do the trick, my loves. Also, there's a new movie available on Sky Movies. It's uh, Venom. So is it a Marvel one? Venom. He's like an evil superhero. Looks really good. Like we haven't seen that one yet. So inshallah we sit down, watch a bit of Venom, have a bit of our mini rolls and have a cup of tea, obviously. But anyway, that's that. My arm's starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> but at least he's still sleeping. I'll pop him back down. Inshallah he stay down. And then um, I'm sorting out lunch now and then prayers and everything. And then I bet it'll be time to get the kids 
time flies when you're having fun it really does and i have just had a lot of fun with this haul <laughs> and i had a lovely morning mashallah like at the cafe i just felt right at home i really did <laughs> how sad am i uh, but anyway let's go and sort out uh, lunch so i'm making i don't know why i'm talking when the kettle's on like how dumb am i um, so i'm making i just shout over it <laughs> so i'm making a kale a salami sandwich got the sliced chicken um, with herbs a najma brand one i get these a lot for the kids sandwiches and i've got two slices of white bread there i came across this like excellent tip <laughs> on my Facebook and I always uh, make my sandwiches like that and look they're so right it's wrong they're so right that it's wrong like the corners have got no meat this is how you do it so if you have salami sandwiches this is gonna really help you but yeah so you cut it in half cut one in half put them on the top and bottom and then cut the other one in half put them on the left and right just wow now that's a real tip that's a real hack so let's have a go um, with these ones, even though these are a bit um, long rather than round. I think we can still achieve a little something with them. So Kay is not a fan of like olive spread or margarine, so usually just has some mayo. Let's pop some mayo on. By the way, he's um, having a shower and stuff, getting ready for prayer. Otherwise, he could easily do this himself. I'm not a slave or servant, guys. All right, in case you get worried for me. That I'm, um, I made, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I'm just spreading some meal on each side. I don't really like salami; like I rarely eat it. Not a fan. Like processed meat is not my thing. The kids love it. Akil loves it. But mother here, mother dear me, not a fan. This one's not bad actually. I really don't like the red processed meat ones. They like taste so salty not a fan um anyway <laughs> after that so let's try and cut these so i think what i'll do i'll cut one of them long ways like this and then pop it like that that looks lovely already and then this one i'll do it like uh, the opposite so yeah that'll do Let's see so if i pop it like that wow you know what <laughs> what can i say that's wow mashallah am i like overly amazed it's just because i've been doing it wrong all my life but look at that not a bit of bread inside okay a little bit but that's pretty good, mashallah. I'm going to ask Akil how much he enjoyed it. How much more than normal? Anyway, <laughs> pop that there. I think he might toast it, so I'll leave it there. I won't cut it. Just make some tea. I'll show you what I'm having for my lunch. So I got these four seeded deli rolls from uh, Lidl the other day. It's on offer, 45 pence, not bad. Um, I'm going to have one of these. Probably toast it with half an avocado, tomato. I did want some tuna. We're all out of tuna. All I've got is one lonely looking egg, but it'll do. So I might just scramble the egg up. I would have poached it, but it's too much hassle. So I'll just scramble it up quickly and pop it in this little roll. So that should be a nice tasty lunch. So my takeaway is here, I'm having fish chips and mushy peas today, looks so good, mashallah it's from Uncle B's. 